Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Today's video is about TCS NQT interview experience. In this video, I will be discussing a friend's experience which which recently had the TCS interview. So before starting the video, I would like you to know that I have already made two such videos. First video is that in which I have discussed the important interview topics for TCS NQT. And next video is about the TCS NQT experience only which was which was happened on 11th November. So these are the two videos which are already posted on my channel. I will give you the link in the description. Please guys subscribe to my channel for more such updates. So now let's begin today's video. Now today's video is also about 10 friends interview experience. His interview was on 12th November. The platform of interview was Webex. The profile for which the interview was is the ninja profile. The department of the uh, of my friend was CS department and the duration of the interview is 40 minutes and the panelists consisted of three persons that is TR, MR and HR. So these were the basic information. Now let's look at the questions which were asked from my friend. So first we will talk about the technical question. So the first and the most important question which is asked in every interview is tell me about yourself. So guys I am repeating this in every video that this is the most important question of your interview. It will decide how much how much you can answer the questions which will be followed and how much how the way you will be the confidence you will show in the answers so please prepare your answers very well for this question because most of the time the entire interview depends on the topics you have enlisted here in your tell me about yourself so my friend told in this question he told about the projects he did and some extracurricular activities which he likes to do now the next question was describe your project. So my friend described the entire project. His project was based on the Android, Android technology. So guys, this was the question asked on the project and there are few more questions which can be asked on the project. First question is describe your project. Second question is what are the challenges you faced in that project and what is the future implementation, future scope of the project you have made. So these are the very common questions which can be asked from your project. So now this question was over describe your project. So he described this project in detail and the project was on Android technology. So the next question was based on the technology that was used in that project. So next question was explain the dif different types of layouts in Android. So there are different types of layouts in Android. So this was a ba very basic Android question. Anyone can answer that question who has done Android. So he explained it. The next question was what, what is manifest file? So it is also Android based question only, only those can answer who has done the Android project on his own. So this was the question, what is manifest file? Now the next question was that which database was used in the project. So when we build a high level project like in a hackathon, we use, we generally use the database to store the information. So the question was asked that which database was used in your project. So my friend answered that he used the Firebase as a database in this project. So the next question was how did he integrate he integrated his Android project with the Firebase. So you can see that all the questions which are following up are dependent upon tell me about yourself and once you once he described the project all the questions which were followed was from the project only. So guys please prepare your projects thoroughly you can be asked about those project in detail. So you should know the technologies that were used in your projects. So question was how to integrate Android with Firebase. So he explained the entire process. The next question was that we uh, what is the difference between SQL and no SQL databases. So now once the Firebase issue uh, once the Firebase topic was put up so the Firebase Firebase is a no SQL database. So from here the question was what is the difference between a SQL and a no SQL databases. So my friend explained the difference. The next question was can can he write the SQL queries. So my friend was not confident in the SQL part so he directly said that he cannot write the queries. So guys it is it is fine that if you do not know any question you can straight away say that I don't know that question because if you will say that you know and you are not confident in that topic then it will put up a bad impression on the interviewer. So if you are not confident you can say no for that topic. So the next question was which language you preferred for Android. Kotlin or Java you can you know that 
Android can be implemented by two languages. One is Kotlin and another is Java. So he interviewer asked, which language did he used? So he answered Java. So the next next four to five questions were based on Java only. So first question was, is Java a pure object oriented language? So the answer was answer is no. That it is not a pure object oriented language because it has the primitive data types in it. So he answered this question. The next answer the next question was, explain the OOPs concept in Java. So he answered that also. These OOPs concept you have to be familiar with. One is abstraction, polymorphism, inheritance, and data encapsulation. This is the most popular question of the interview. Explain the OOPs concepts. So the next question was also based on the Java only. Are set uh, sets in Java a class or an interface? So he answered that also. The next question was explain the final keyword in Java. So you guys, you can see that all the questions which were asked from from my friend were very basic questions, and these were the questions which were asked from the topics he decided to answer because he told all these things in the "Tell me about yourself" section. He mentioned the projects, and he was he was very confident on the project and the technology that was used in that project. So therefore, he insisted the interviewer to ask from that topics only. So you can see that how the flow of questions are being conducted. First the project, then the technology used in the project, and then the language used in that technology, and then the questions from the language. So you should prepare your tell me about yourself very thoroughly so that you can answer those questions. So these were the all the technical questions which were asked from him. You can see that all the questions were very basic because it is a ninja profile interview, so they will not go any deep in any technology. So you should know the basics of the everything. Like basics of DBMS, basics of OOPs, and basics of the technology used in your projects. So this was the entire technical interview. It uh, it lasted for around 30 minutes. The next the next round was the managerial round. So in managerial round, only one question was asked from my friend. So the question was how you will generate the data to work on project if you won't find it on internet. So basically in this he was trying to ask that if you some if you are stuck in something. if you are stuck in the in your work how will you how will you manage to solve that query if it is not present on the internet so the answer was quite general so i have told you earlier also that there are no such things as right or wrong in the managerial question it 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 all depends on the situation you are in and how you are explaining your things to the manager so this was the managerial question now next was the hr round so hr round so hr round asked hr person asked three questions from my friend first was the tell me about your family background second question was where do you see yourself after 5 years these both the questions are very popular questions which are asked by the hr these questions are asked by every company's hr so these are very common questions the next question was pretty much different that, that is why is iphone so popular so they just want to check your mentality that what you will answer on such topics so this was the one good question which were asked which were asked by the hr why is iphone so popular so guys this was the entire interview experience of my friend if you like the video please comment down and you can ask me doubts also and if you want that in future also i make such videos so please write down in the comment section and please like the video and subscribe my channel so thank you guys